my camera is down not too excited about that but I'm recording this on my iPhone so hopefully this quality is okay for you guys but I want to talk about um, real quick about crooked people that help the narcissists I can't stand when that happens but it obviously does happen to a lot of us you know crooked people that are out here supporting someone that they know that they're wrong they actually have seen them do wrong things but they are like praising them and bringing them up you know here you know just to um go against you basically i hate that that it happens but you know it's like crooked people stick together you know they support each other and for us you know i have to just tell y'all that it happens to you guys um you know when i'm talking about crooked people i'm talking about you know judges attorneys um you know neighbors who teachers whoever is supporting this narcissist and just trying to make your character down like you know i'm gonna do a video of what i call um seesaw method with the narcissist they put the narcissist up here or the narcissist put their self up here and you have to be down here as this person and they all band together to ruin your reputation and your character all of a sudden you're like this you like that you just nasty mean and it's always you know the same song for all of us you know um nasty mean cruel person but in the midst of that these things are not true a lot of it is just um you know the way the narcissist feels you know he say she say and they put that into other people and it's so messed up because this is not your character so how do you protect your character how do you protect your reputation how do you stop these people from doing this from trying to destroy who you are as a person naturally how do you you know what do you do you know some things I thought about I said if somebody's gonna go in that hard on you that hard on your character that you're this bad right you're this awful person how about reversing that if you can you know I know this is crazy because it's like backwards thinking it's like playing chess with the narcissist but you're going to be um you know criticized as a bad person regardless you don't um you know maybe you step in the house too much you don't take the kids to the park or what is it is oh you um you work too much so you never got time for them so whatever your situation is and sometimes a narcissist will tell you what they're going to say about you I, I just got a text the other day you know saying things and i knew this is what he was going with and it was a lie but basically you know how can you protect your character some because this blow that they this stuff that they put into people is just ridiculous you know and, and this is why i'm glad this society we live in you know everything is so you know it's it's all about um social media and being online so using social media in um or not even social media like cameras and video in a more productive way than you think can help can kind of um redirect some of these crazy claims about you because you're going to be this awful person this big bad wolf that doesn't do this or that does this or that, and that whatever you know whatever they're saying so if they say that uh, i don't know you know you stay up in the house too much and you don't you're not interested in engaging with the kids and activities well it's time to go and get your iphone and whoop, i'm at the park recording saving you know just redirecting that nasty stuff that's just not true you know and it's a shame that you got to do it but you're proving that you're not going to sit here and destroy my character you're not going to make people believe that i'm some way that i'm not we're not doing that i'm tired of that you know what i'm saying don't let these individuals take away your character and repaint who you are as a person and that's not the truth let the people whoever's you know job it is to believe this whether it's the new supply or you know <laughs> a judge or anybody let them have a hard time and let their souls have a hard time and make it confusing for them so they won't just be so easy to accept this these lies about you so narcissist saying you stand up in the house too much you can kind of tell that claim is coming because what they'll do they'll start going out taking the kids out every single weekend and if a narcissist does something you better believe they have an agenda they always have an agenda so the picture is to you know the things that they do they make themselves up so high like they're so good and you're down here you're so bad so record yourself say receipts from mcdonald's or 
Bojangles or wherever you do. I mean, they just lie so much and they want to um, make you out to be this really, really, really bad, cruel person. Don't let them do that. Take the opportunity to, you know, make people understand, you know, even if they still don't want to understand, it, even if they still don't want to hear this, that, hmm, this must not be true because look, I got this, 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 and that. You know, it's okay to defend yourself against a narcissist. You don't have to feel as though, I remember I was feeling like, I'm not doing this, this is ridiculous. I don't have to defend, I don't have to prove to people that, but if, you know, a legal system is involved, yeah, it, you do. I mean, that system is all about, they're gonna make a ruling based on, you know, a lot of he say, she say, unfortunately. You know, a lot of people don't have the type of video evidence that would hold somebody accountable for their actions, not too much. Sometimes it does happen where you'll see someone do something really, really bad on camera and you know they're going to jail. But with narcissists, you have to do things backwards because they run off a lot of, um, they're false accusers. So a false accuser lives off their lies and allegations. That's how they live their life, off of lying, um, making up things, twisting things around, turning things around. You know, if, you know, small kids are involved, your job is to actually minimize as much as possible a lot of those false claims that you this, you don't do this, you don't do that, you're not this, you're not that, or you are this, you're that, you're nasty, you're mean, you're cruel. And even though you got messages, you got to save everything. I don't care if it's two, three, four, five, six years because you got to save every text message, every communication. Like, what's nasty? What did I say nasty that we got to work together and you um, aren't on time to the visits? Can you please be on time? Is that nasty? In a narcissist's mind, yeah, you're nasty. You don't want to work with them. In their minds, they're like kids. They want to control and manipulate every situation, control you, control how you think, and then come out as some type of victim, somebody who just needs help. Everybody save them. Somebody save them for this mean person. You're bad. You're mean. You're nasty. How do you defend yourself? You can defend yourself, but you have to want to defend yourself. You have to think positive. You have to um, be find a, a safe net for yourself. Find a, a um, some peace. You know, I know I drink a lot of tea, and I do talk about it. You know, on this channel, I'll tell y'all more. But that's a safe net for me because I'm you know, working on my well-being and I'm just trying to be healthy and just, you know, I know teas have a lot of um things. They do just about everything. They got detox tea, detox teas. They got teas for, you know, they ca have caffeine because I know I have to get up early in the morning. I have things to do. I got to go, 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 you know, and um, some of the, you know, the things that they do really help. Some of them help with digestive issues and all this stuff. So that's something that I find a uh, safety net because I collect them. I have like like 40 boxes of tea right now in my house. So, you know, also walks. I like taking long walks. So what, you know, whatever works for you, find something that you enjoy doing in a safety net. But also if you're dealing with a narcissist and a lot of us are, that's why we <laughs> watch these videos, find a way to understand that you have to play chess with them. Chess move, they're doing this. I don't really play chess. I, I'm more of a checker player because I, that's just the game that I love. But I know chess is so similar you know, more like serious and more respected than checkers is. But the point is that you have to have a backwards way of thinking because the narcissist is actually somebody that's trying to trap you, but trying to make it seem like they're not trying to trap you. Like they're trying to work with you. Like they like you, but they need to set you up so you can get in trouble and lose everything you got. And they can just come off as a victim and walk away. Like I didn't, you know, I don't know what happened to her, but she, you know, she did this, 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 and that. So if somebody's trying to trap you, you turn it around like, you know, it's just like a full circle on them. <laughs> you know, you turn it around, you back up out the situation, don't, you know, engage with them in that way that they want to engage, but just watch yourself and just realize that, you know, there are people that are actually going to support this person. There are some people that are going to support you, but don't let them get so comfortable in describing you as this this and that you can kind of tell what the narcissist is going to say about you because they're so arrogant they think that in their minds in the mind of a narcissist they're smarter than you than all of us they know it all so they're arrogant they let you know what they're going to say about you they say hmm you know you'll get a text like yeah you know i um i don't see why you you didn't let me know about this or that and this is what they're saying. This is what they're telling everybody. <laughs> they're so arrogant, you know. And you have to be wise. A wise man 
or one man, you know, you don't have to let them know what you're going to say about them. Just record things that need to be recorded. Think backwards. You know, if there's any, you know, DV involved, DV, you know what that is, you know you got to get those cameras. I always say, talk about it. You got to get them on the car because they like to play games with cars and stuff like that. You know, they are tire slashers. They like to get into the houses. You know, you don't even have to have, you can have cameras, you know, on the front and the back. But you can also have a little something, something on the inside in case they do get inside and just show, you know, you're not to be played with. They can't get away with everything. They can get away with some stuff, but not everything. So, you know, just you got to keep praying and finding peace, whatever, you know, you believe in meditation, whatever it is, you know, working out. But, you know, there are going to be people that side with them and do dirty things for them to help them. And I just hate to see it because it's like bullying. Like in high school, you know, a lot of bullies like to stand together and bully a person. That's just their thing. You know, you're going to have to back up and protect your character. I think that's what all of us survivors have to understand. If you're dealing with a narcissist, your character, your reputation is supposed to be destroyed. You're supposed to be the worst person in the world. And the way the narcissist describes it, they pick something that is really, um, <laughs> they pick petty things that go off of your weaknesses, what they feel like is your weakness, and they keep on going in, going in, going in, keep describing it and explaining it and trying to push you over the edge. And you have to, it's okay to change something if it's bad because we are, you know, um, not narcissists. So we actually have the capability to self-reflect, right? So if something is probably you can work on, it's okay to, you know, kind of work on those things and change them if it's something, you know, that can't you can improve on. But if it's something that they just are just saying, you know, you can protect yourself. There's different ways to protect yourself. You don't always have to, you might not never catch a narcissist slashing your tires. You may not ever catch that on camera. It, it, it sucks, but you're like, dang, I got a camera on my car and I wish he would. I wish he would so I can have it recorded. But you might not catch that, but you may be able to catch, you know, yourself, you know, taking your kids to McDonald's, taking them to the park, you know, um, you know, opening up their Christmas presents, the smiles, the look on their face. You may be able to record yourself telling you, you know, your kids, you love them. Because what a narcissist is going to say about you in a relationship with your kids, oh, you don't love them. You hate them because you hate the narcissist. You're this, you're that. All accusations. So the way you have to think is backwards and different and strategic. And it's okay to, you know, defend yourself even before something happens. Even if you are actually in a good place, it's okay to still take time out to think strategically and understand that there are people that are corrupt, especially in the system. We all know that, that actually will help the narcissist, will turn their heads towards their bad, bad behaviors of the narcissist and kind of make the things that you're doing or not doing, try to um, blow them up and out of proportion, try to weigh them more. They weigh, they don't want to weigh the things the narcissist is doing, but all of a sudden they want to weigh all the things you're doing. So, you know, it's okay to wake up and refresh your mind and your energy and to push yourself to understand if your reputation is at risk and how to think of different ways to protect your reputation and your character. So yeah, that's all what I wanted to say, you guys. I'm going to check out on this because I, I'm hoping this video can upload and I'm hoping it does um, make it because it's a long video on my iPhone. <laughs> but um, turn your notifications on, guys, because I am going to be uploading a lot more. And um, subscribe if you haven't done so, guys. And thank everybody um, for listening to this video. Everybody that's new here, thank you guys so much. And I will talk to you guys soon.